I'm mean to your eyeballs, do you? <laughs> Wander off. Um, yeah, basically, uh, Ritzel. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Is there something over here? I already forget. Oh yeah, that's where I got the uh, the knife. And we overlook uh, the city. Hey, Ferret! Omni's Gamer, how's it going? It uh, is very heavily uh, earthbound inspired, Omni's. Uh, fortunately, not too much in a bad way so far. to play here. What if I want to? It is, it is drafty here. You will catch a cold. It is, it is dusty here. You'll catch a cough. Isaac's down there, probably. Oh, and I should comment that uh, I can always count on you, Ritzel, to drop the uh, the appropriate Simpsons quotes. I prove because I'm trying to get to the fireworks factory. There's nothing to see here. Apparently, there is something uh, something to see here. Do Do you want to read a book? How about a book? A book would be fun. Let's read a book. Please, please stop going to the basement. <laughs> right, give me a book. Give me a book then! You're not even giving me a book! I mean, that's not that unusual, Will. That's. Like, reasonably expected by a lot of things. It's almost uh, annoying how often that is the case, in fact, to some extent. Alright, fine. You want me to read a book? We'll read a book. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> Don't play the game, draw them all. Just cheat. Cheat at the game. That's how you do it. didn't give me a book, so... I do not like the game you were playing. That's the most upset she's been. She, she was, like, angry, actually, there. Alright, well, in that case... I... I have to do something. Stay here. <laughs> Femur? I hardly knew her! <laughs> exactly, Juniper. Exactly.
You wish to return... Uh, well, yes, that's good enough. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Jesus. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go. Go to your room. Mm -hmm. Fatten me up and, uh, and bake me? Probably, Frank Fred. Wait, you still- I, I- I just slept for a while! You're still- you're still doing it? You're not, uh, you're not very quick with this. Go mom, you're not very quick with this at all. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. <laughs> Nobody picked up. Okay. Hurrawa, welcome! It's just like a convenient door. There's gonna be other ways. I mean, like, we can see the town. We can just, like, jump over there. Anyway, right? You want to leave so badly. <laughs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Who's best for you? No oh gun. This is like a Toho music. Oh, that, that little part right there, anyway, reminded me of it. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, I'm with it. Toriel is acting aloof. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Oh, that's uh, a little different. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation.
Uh, what, that I can uh, skip text with X or people's names in uh, yellow means they can surrender? Okay, that does cap out there. Ow. That is right. Go upstairs. Yes, Shocker Dials. I haven't played it before. Oh, I don't have any gold. It's like, I should go back to the spider bake sale. Not everyone can see the uh, the title Bouncy Boy. People on mobile and stuff often can. Oh yeah, that's just that uh, annoying circular perspective room thing. Seduce all the froggets. Come on, eat some more pie. You can eat some pie. Cinnamon and butterscotch. Let's see, violence as long as you don't kill things, though. Um. <laughs> that uh, had an odd tone to it. Hobo, please. Wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. But yeah, it's it's important for Gandhi's pacifism to only severely injure and cripple things. You just don't you don't kill them. And you also threaten them with nuclear weapons. That's that's also recommended. Hey, forgotten saves. Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Get toy dagger. Oh, that's not very much damage. I guess he doesn't do a lot of damage to me either, though. Change it up on me! Oh, tricky like. Alright, dodge does it. That's the easiest attack for me to dodge, for sure. I don't know what I'm supposed to do when he gets that uh, double hand thing. Probably just gonna die. There we go. Oh god, but it keeps going! Oh, what? The, what? How did I get 348 damage? That's not consistency. Hmm. 
Use the pie? I wanted to use the pie. See, I was expecting to hit her just uh, once more and lower her health. That's, that's the idea, but... You... You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Ascor, do not let Ascor take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Thank you very much for the continued support, Volxima. I do appreciate it. Greetings, kid at Blind. Be good, won't you? My child. So I wasn't trying to kill her. Just trying to injure her. I was trying to, to do... Oh, ouch. To do uh, some Gandhi pacifism right there. No, uh, no Gandhi pacifism, huh? Hmm. Music is appropriately silent. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Everyone, like, is upset as hell about what's going on here. Uh, uh, Hobo, please. Uh, uh, wake uh, up. Yeah, okay. We got that already. Hey there, Higgle, Higgle, Higgle. Welcome. You know who I really miss? How about we sleep in this bed? No. Well, I don't really intend to play through it again, Will. That's very unlikely, but possible. Hey there, Neo Viper. The game re re remembers through the reload anyway. Well, there you go. There you go. There, crazy sunshine. Um, pseudo adopted mom of the underworld. After I fell fell into a giant mountain. Oh, did we get some more love, uh, Spaticus, from killing her? Oh, the game remembers, but she would have been alive. I see, Jimmy. Interesting. <laughs> I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it... <laughs> He couldn't even save herself. <laughs> what an idiot. Doesn't even want to fight, just uh, just wants to mock. How rude. How rude, Flowey.
Hey there, Sam Vines. How's it going, sir? Greetings, magnificent. Th There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Four grand tree action. It's a tough looking branch. Too heavy to pick up. <sighs> Whatever you want it to be, Ritzel. Whatever you want it to be. How's it how's it going? Shambly shamble. Steam. I just have a shadowy figure that's like kind of walking after me, but uh, actually doesn't look that sinister. What what the hell voice does this thing get? Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion, the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I don't capitalize my name. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. No, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I I have an idea. Go through this gay thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anybody. Quick, behind that uh, conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? Hmm. Couple different ways we could go with this one. Couple different ways we could go with this one. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping! You lazy bones! Greetings, Red Rob Lamb. <laughs> All you do is sit and boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! <laughs> hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton? <laughs> Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Ugh. Why does someone as great...
great as myself have to do so much just to get some recognition. Wow, it <laughs> sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Kisses don't actually clean you very well. That's that's a good point, Ritzel. This guy not uh not knowing what he wants to do here. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now you can come out. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, I'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well, you gotta get going. He might come back, and if he does, silly jokes. Okay. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Some sort of checkpoint or sensory station. But there's bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Mm -hmm. Actually, hey, uh, hate to bother you, but could you do me a favor? I, I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before. And seeing you might just make his day. And don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Oh man, like a treasure chest. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Tough glove. Wait, I thought I couldn't pick up the stick. It said I couldn't pick up the stick. How did I pick up the stick? Its bark is worse than its bite. A worn pink leather glove for five fingered folks. I've still got some pie, too. Oh, that was the stick. I apparently had a stick before the toy knife. I had no idea. Snow Drake. Heckle. Check it out. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Ice to meet you! Stab was wrong. I, I probably don't want to voice the uh, the combat dialogue too much. Still, Drake is pleased with its cool joke. Money in the bank. rod affixed to the ground, sure. A photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call? No, what are you talking about? I totally decide to call. You can't make that decision for me!
Apparently you can. Alright. They're, uh, they're making that decision for me. So, as I was saying about Undyne... I think you've, yeah, I was gonna say, they at least faced, uh, right at least once. Sans! Oh my god! Is that... a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh! Hey, though, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is... is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans! I finally did it! Undyne will! I'm... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 <clears throat> human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then! Then! I'm not sure what's next, actually. In any case, continue only if you dare! <laughs> <laughs> well, that went well. <laughs> Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. <laughs> Turn down the volume. Hopefully that wasn't clipping. I, I felt like I was far enough away from the mic and it probably wasn't clipping, so that's, uh, that's the hope. Hey, introverted. Oh yeah, that was the fishing pole. Cool. Ice cap. Steel. Let's get an obsession with hats. It's snowing dandruff. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. It's not weak enough to steal the hat. Help fashion police. I'm done with you. There's some duration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guards. Uh, draw ball. Clipping refers to, uh, like, or peaking, uh, mic, like, uh, audio volume, uh, going so loud that it, uh, distorts, basically. Uh, the trees have much better art quality than the main character. Assumedly intentional, but, uh... Absolutely no moving. <laughs> did... did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. D 
Yago. Oh man, he's got like a <laughs> a sleeveless T-shirt. He's got double swords. He's got a dog. He's a dog wearing a shirt with a dog on it. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies included. Squirrels! Alright. This game is pretty weird, Dromo. I mean, running away is movement too, though. Petting is movement. We'll try to check one more time, but I don't think it's gonna do anything. Oh yeah, the leopard print pants too, I didn't even mention that, uh, Mojo. What? I've been pet. Seems, seems, to, seems like that doggo has been pet. S something pet me. Something that is m moving. I'm, I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Somebody's been smoking dog treats. Hey, here's something really important to remember. Uh, my brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep in mind. I imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Highlighted red, appropriate. Stop signs are red, so uh, imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Oh my god, no! Ice! Alright, we'll read the sign. <laughs> good sign, good sign. <laughs>